I'd like to demonstrate to you some scanning and reading technology, and you're probably asking the question, why would someone who is blind go out and purchase a scanning and reading program for their computer when there are a number of scanners available on the market that do scan print? And my answer to that would be that if you're scanning text as a blind person, you need the ability to have the text correctly read back to you and you also need the ability to have the scanner be able to flip the text should you insert it incorrectly into the scanner. So I've got my scanner here off to the left and I will demonstrate to you a uh, sample scan. There are a couple of different programs on the market that allow you to be able to successfully scan and read print as a blind person, one of which is called Open Book and the other one is called Kurzweil 1000. Today we're going to use Open Book and I've got a pamphlet here in my scanner and basically I'm actually going to put it in here upside down and you always push your material to the back of the scanner, close the lid and it will scan the print and then it will give me a sound of a tone when it's finished. So the scanner is now going from the front of the scanner to the back and taking an actual picture of what is there and it is then going to convert the picture into the spoken word that's called optical character recognition. And this is a, a wonderful um, technology that's available because it allows blind people to read printed material that otherwise would not be available to them. It's important to note that these kind of programs cannot read a person's handwriting because handwriting is always different from one person to the next. While I was speaking, we heard a tone from the computer indicating that the text is complete and now I can make it read to me what I just scanned. Saturday evening begins at 7.00 p.m. with a banquet followed by our keynote speaker Carl Jacobson. Scholarships will be awarded, door prizes and raffles will be drawn, etc. We will also hear the winning entry from our writing contest. And you notice that we have a female voice here. These are some of the newer voices that are available when you purchase either Open Book or Kurzweil 1000 that are more humanistic sounding. And for me, if I'm going to scan a book or do something for pleasure, I, I prefer to hear a, a, a more humanistic sounding voice. So uh, this has scanned that text and it's now reading it to me aloud. Contest. Please plan to stay after the banquet to meet and greet our scholarship winners. Sunday, November 8th, 2009 Continental Breakfast begins at 8. And this is very important because a lot of times a blind person may go to an important meeting where they hand out an agenda and perhaps the agenda is not available in Braille that blind person can bring this home with them or to their office, scan it, and have that information immediately, whereas it may take a while to perhaps get it produced in Braille. This is also excellent if you're going to um, want to read your mail independently. Um, it's, it's really a, a very useful tool, one that I personally enjoy very much.